just decided that we, uh, we can't live without each other. We were going to just do everything together. So I, yes. I, I jumped in on Robin's panel. He's going to hang out with us for a little bit on mine. And uh, good times shall be had by all. Is awesome. everyone having fun? Yeah. yeah. Can I just say that uh, you guys are all so nice. This has been a really lovely, lovely con. Everyone met has been so pleasant and sweet, and you've told me wonderful stories about yourself, and uh, it's just, it's been really, really nice. Thank you very much. You know, Amanda, when I, when I try to tell you wonderful stories about myself, you never, you never have that reaction. <laughs> One, one Your time stories you stories are weird. One time you threw up on yourself <laughs> and me. It, it is when Amanda Tapping does it. <laughs> Awkward silence. <laughs> I'm the master at that. <laughs> That's not a telephone ringing. It's not a telephone. It's a cricket. It's a, it's cricket. a very loud cricket. Yeah. A microphone. An electronic cricket. Oh God. Moving <laughs> on. Um, what, what? What do you want with me? Well, I'm, I'm just here to not... assist you. No. I'm no. here to assist. Do you want me to sit over there? No. no. Sit over there if you want. No. 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 But are you gonna Look. start? Are you gonna start? No, no. Don't do this. Okay. Don't do, don't don't do start. this. Huh? No, no. What, what, why you're gonna not? embarrass me in front of all my new friends. You know what? You embarrass yourself just fine. Okay. You don't need me. Oh, now you're doing the looking away thing. Oh, and now she's crying. Mandy. Mandy. Rob. Mandy. Rob. Mandy. Rob. I thought this weekend we weren't going to do this. Uh, we weren't either. I thought we weren't going to do this. Either. Okay, but you. What did Dr. Lip should say? Okay. He said we should try to see beyond our anger. Yes. I think you're blind beyond your anger. <laughs> My anger blinds me. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Yeah, but you didn't say it correctly because. Oh, so I said something wrong again. Wow, what a surprise. You see what I have to live with. Let's get to the question. We, should, we do this thing, uh, the Bickersons. For those of you who weren't in yesterday's Robin panel. Mandy. Robin Mandy Bickerson. And uh, we do it everywhere we go. Like on airplanes, in restaurants, around the world, the Bickersons have traveled. And we do this... Like, thing, yeah. we start out really, and then we start into this argument, and anyone in close proximity is like, are you kidding? And we get, like, it gets really intense, but it's, we laugh our heads off afterwards. Ooh. But, like, you know, we go into, like, my mother's 70th birthday party when he got really drunk, and, like, none of this stuff is real, obviously. Real-ish. I mean, Real-ish. Real but, and it's, people's reactions are hilarious, because they're like... And some people pick sides. Yeah. Like, like, we were, guess, guess how many people pick my side? <laughs> yes, we were on a plane, and yes. as we were leaving, the one guy turns to Rob and goes, Good luck, mate. <laughs> I was arriving here. We, uh, we, were, we were on the plane, and um, Amanda went to the bathroom. And, and this, the, the flight attendant came up, just kind of very, very soft-spoken woman, and she said, um, uh, would, you, would, you, uh, uh, would you guys like some wine? And I said, yes, um, but, but just, I just got to tell you something. Um, just before she comes back, just don't bring any Chardonnay, because she hates Chardonnay, and she gets really, really mad. And the, and the stewardess was like, oh, God, oh, I'm so sorry. I said, yeah, I know. I, I, and then she'll be mad at me for the whole trip, and it'll ruin the trip. <laughs> and this woman's like, but I think that's all we have is... Amanda's in the bathroom. I think that's all we have is Chardonnay. It's like, well, just please bring it and tell her it's Pinot Grigio just for me. I can't go through this weekend like this. So, she can, so Amanda goes back to the thing and the woman, the woman comes back. And she's, she's like shaking. She's like, oh, uh, here's your Pinot Grigio. And then I told Amanda and Amanda said, Oh, I don't want people to think I'm mean. <laughs> To the point where like, we, we do it in front of the crew, we, we do it, we get so real with it, the crew are like, that's ah, not funny anymore. It's just, funny anymore, you guys are just creeping us out. Mom, Dad, <laughs> please don't fight. Yeah. 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 But I usually break, I usually like start laughing. No! You? Get out of, you break? That's crazy. It's crazy talk. You break? Let's try it right now. <laughs> No, seriously, let's try, let's try to act. We are actors, okay? Let's try right now. Okay. 
Starting, okay, starting after three, okay? One. <laughs> two. Three. <laughs> you have to look at me. <laughs> What? That look that... <laughs> Does that work? <laughs> Mandy. Ralph. Why do you hate me? <laughs> You've ruined my life. <laughs> <laughs> my mother told and me... No. <laughs> uh, hey, does anyone want to ask some questions? <laughs> oh, look at all those people over there. Question. We just want to apologize for running in off on Robin and then running back in on you guys. Do you know how many women have apologized to me for that? <laughs> Do you know how many times I hear that? I'm sorry I ran out. <laughs> but I'm back. <laughs> really? Yeah. We, we just wanted to, you know, bow down and beg for your mercy. <laughs> Yes, really. Ooh. Okay. Well, I accept your apology. It still hurts, though. You can sew it up, but you still see the tear. Go ahead a little bit more. We have to leave that ten minutes early. What is it you have to do? What is so important? The how? The guild. The guild. Oh. Yeah, wow. Well. <laughs> All these people are gonna stay. Aren't, aren't you? <laughs> My heart is broken. Again. Hi, we do all love you, don't worry. We adore you, it's why we're here. Um, okay. Going back to what I was gonna say before. I was going to ask, um, last year Christopher Heidel was down and he was Woo! talking about how funny it was being on set as Todd on Stargate Atlantis and then coming on to Sanctuary where he... Bigfoot, is that how you just... Uh, okay, so he's really a different character because he's obviously not going to suck the life out of you, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what it was like um, acting in different scenarios with him and everyone else who's been on the set. Uh, well, Christopher is really interesting, don't you think? But like, with, nah. when he when he uh, is Biggie and in the full prosthetics, he carries himself very differently. He talks to us differently. He's a, he's a bit more aggressive. He's a bit more intense. Um, and then when he's not in all that makeup, when he's drew it, he's there's just a totally different energy about him. And even yeah. when he even when he's just Chris. And then and it's Chris, totally different. Like, yeah. yeah, like he's he's one of those people that is, is, sits a little more firmly in the seat of their character, even when they're not on set, so uh, or when they're not shooting. So yeah, he comes in very differently. And then it, when it's Christopher Hiredal walking in for a cast read through, and you know, coming jumping off his bicycle and running up to the studio <laughs> stairs, he's a completely different guy again. So he he yeah, it's very interesting. And it's very and you know, like now we're used to it. But at first it was like, yeah, Chris, Chris, it's us. Uh, is Chris in there? Bigfoot scares me. Bigfoot's scary. Very sweet, but he's scary. 